Welcome back to SJ76 Gaming. I'm Slim Jones, and this is session one of Aurora Dawn. All four of you went through the portal, but only three of you popped out into the dark forest. You look and you see a town through the woods in a mountainous valley. You see what appears to be two people standing around the fire with some kind of metal thing is near them kicking around. It's mostly quiet, but you do see large metal things with rubber wheels and big lights going further out to the outskirts towards a fortified building. Your wrist devices have a little indicator like a compass and it's pointing towards that fort. It seems quiet in this town that you're looking at through the trees. There is some movement of people and other stationary folks. Whenever I see one of the um, large metal objects swirling down the road, I want to ask the group, what is that contraption? Oh, if only I had such a device, I could conquer all of Japan. That's a device. That's a foul beast. A beast? Do you not see how it breathes fire through its eyes? Johnny, you are sober enough to realize that the banners that you see hanging off the buildings and on the trucks are from World War II. Red banners with black, jagged, X-like symbols. The vehicles... <laughs> Stop for a moment, and then they go inside the fortified area. Ah, uh, okay, and they're just, like, driving right by us? Oh, uh, they're gone now. <clears throat> now all you see across you is, across this road, is two people, I said, in gray uniforms, standing next to a fire. Uh, some dim lights inside the houses, some more patrols, and other people that don't look like them walking about. Not knowing what's going on. I'll go up to the uh, suited individuals. Hello, fellow travelers. Uh, where where might we be? Is that uh, ancient Greek? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that's my only language. So you walk across and start talking to them? Yeah, not knowing where the road is or anything like that. I just casually walk across and flag them down. They stand at attention and they walk together and they start coming towards you. They start pointing at you and pointing strange metal things getting closer. They're about a long distance away as you're coming in. I'll turn to the other two. What might they be saying? We don't understand what they're saying. Speaking in German. Got it. Uh, just kind of like stand back and listen in for a few minutes. What are those metal things they're holding? They, don't, they do not appear to be swords. Ah, oh, friend. Ah, man. That's the weapon of the man, you know. Weapon of the man? No, as I pull my sword. This is a weapon of the man. All right, roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So it's a speed I'm, roll. I'm trained in initiative. It's just straight, right? Yes. I rolled a mighty two. Oh, wow. Alright, so you all can go before the enemy. They are a short distance away from you, and then a long distance away from you two. Do they oh, see us? Not uh, you got, well, yeah, not I mean, I, really I, I have been too. screaming back at them, though. How long have we heard them talking? Has been more than a couple minutes. No, this is this is happening pretty oh. quick. He walked over and yelled at them. They yeah. came right over and started <laughs> and then, pointing at him with their sword, guns. Sword, and then he drew his sword at them. Down. So <laughs> Johnny's going to um, attempt to uh, use spin identity to try to uh, convince them that we're just tourists passing through, and uh, we were told to come over by this way here, man. And uh, you know, I'm sorry, we got a little bit turned around somewhere along the way. He's saying that in English, of course, because go ahead and uh, roll for it. Just a guy dressed in samurai armor walking around the Czech Republic in 1943. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> suspicious here. So let's use two of my intellect pool. You're I applying will... effort. Yeah. Very good. You reduce the difficulty. And if I have edge, I add one to the roll, or how's that no, work? No, your your edge took the th the one away from the three that it takes okay, for okay. effort, so that's why it's two. Well, also using spinality costs two intellect points too, so it's uh, two more. Yeah, on that. top of that, yep. <laughs> you really try, but your babble ability hasn't been able to really take effect yet, so they really don't understand you, and they're very much focused on Perseus. As your uh, plea in English has no effect, Oda, you can move an immediate distance now if you would like. I move. Slowly. Badass anime walk. As your full action, you can move a short distance. I use my action to move a short distance and also flex. I flex through the armor. You're probably about halfway to where Perseus and uh, these 
strange people are with their metal things coming at him. Uh, Perseus, what do you do? As I turn back to the Germans, seeing them from my comrades approaching me, would I be able to tell that they are hostile? Them raising the little metal things at you reminds you of people raising bows at you. They're yelling hostile in a foreign language. So you can move a short distance and attack with uh, your upgrade without making a speed roll. Yeah, I'll go and do that. Uh, before they have time to pointing their strange bows at me, I'll uh, dart over to them. Instead of attacking them, I will attempt to disarm one of them. You run, dashing up to him within 50 feet, and then you attempt to overpower him to knock this metal thing out of his hands before he has a chance to use whatever it is. Make your roll to do so. Nine. He is defensive. You don't think much of them as you come up and you attempt to disarm him, but he doesn't let you take a, what this metal thing in his hands. I will use control of shield to uh, step in between the two of them. You move in between them. As he resists, you pull away, and then you move in between. As they both point at you. Ah! And fire. You need to make two speed defense rolls. As you are probably extremely shocked by the massive, deafening, percussive noise and the blast of the muzzle flashes on both sides. And it is a very loud noise that can be heard for a long way. Eleven and a eight. You feel multiple piercing hot sensations. Your adrenaline is high, but still, something's not right. I will say I do have my armor on as well. Ah, uh, what, which arm, what armor is it? Medium armor. You take a total of four damage to your might pool. These bullets, some of them hit you and scratch you. None of them really go in, but they cut you and they ricochet and start cutting your body all over and they mostly startle you because you've never heard a firearm before. <laughs> but it is extremely loud noise. After they shoot, they kind of move an immediate distance back a bit. And then it's back to you guys at round two. That sound is echoed all throughout. You can tell there's movement going on about the town. As the people you saw loosely walking about have hunkered down and are running away. The fort lights are coming on. Oh, fuck. Um, Perseus, man, I think we gotta gotta get out of here, man. Uh, no bueno. It's no good over here. But I think these are, uh, really bad people. Yes, that is why I'm attempting to slay these. Oh, no, no, man. There are many more coming. They got... Yeah, more of those uh those sticks, those fire sticks you saw there. He sees you get shot with man point uh, gun. Yeah. You get shot with bullet. <laughs> Are they God? No, I'm going to let's go run. Let's run. Yeah, that's why I say. <laughs> if you want to do a long distance, you can make a speed roll. You have to Chinese roll at uh, least a twelve to to run a hundred feet or so. Yeah, you, you guys only managed to really go about... Oda, you run about 60, 70 feet. Johnny, you get about your short distance of about 50 feet or so, and that's about it. And seeing the other companions run, he will run as well. I see firearms have much improved. So you can just run a hundred, or you can try and move 200 with the roll. Uh, oh, I'll just try to run towards where they, they are. You get... Probably, you know, about an immediate distance behind them or so. And then they move forward and they start shooting again. Do you need to make two more speed defense rolls as they fire at you running into the forest? As you're dodging and weaving, the first one fires. You hear a whiff, whiff, whiff. As bullets are whiffing past you, you dodge and weave the first ones whiffing past you, but then the second one fires and it manages to clip you. But your armor takes away some of the damage as the bullets kind of ricochet off the leather and scratch you. As you take two more damage to your might pool, they've moved an immediate distance further into the road, yelling at others, pointing at you all. Can I do an intrusion for a friendly NPC? You expend one of your two XP. Coming out around the corner, behind where they were, a townsperson runs out a short distance and then points. Pointing in an opposite way, and they start looking at him confusedly. I hunker down to the ground, hiding. I prepare my spear. The moment I spot the border of the forest, I will dive towards the largest bush. It might also be near a large tree, but hide in the bush. It's easy enough in the total darkness. On the enemy's turn, they seem to be conversing with this townsperson as he's pointing off in another direction. This one goes with him, and they go off this way. The other one stays here. He moves forward a bit. Too nervous to go on his own. Round four. Are you all just going to continue watching them? Johnny will try to call closer to Oda. Oh man, these guys are real bad news. As I also get closer, you've seen Switch follow up and read before. Those are guns, my man. Second arrow. 
times a hundred. These fellas here, they, uh, they have a lot of bad stuff, man. I, I'm not sure what's going on. This is like the worst trip I've ever had. I also think that this is a very bad trip. More are coming yeah, out to there. join them from all over. And coming down the road, a big metal thing with lights in the front. We should probably oh. get out of here. Uh, yeah, back up a little bit. We better take off. There's just too many. Your wrist devices around. have a little beacon, and it is pointing towards the fort behind the town. We're going to have to sneak around. Sun Tzu's art of war. Attack where your enemy is weakest. The truck seems yeah. to have stopped, and the townsperson that came out of nowhere with another Nazi is speaking to them. But some of them have strange lights focusing beams, and they're starting to group up and start to head your way. Let this discuss this Sun Tzu. After a while, let's move from this location. Bad mojo. We do, we do a low, sneaky movement. All right, are you doing your arc around the forest, towards the fort? Yeah. It's dark enough, and you're moving around, and you are making your way towards the fort. And Johnny has heard a lot of the German, so now he can start to speak and understand. I don't know how well they saw us, but I'm pretty sure you stick out like a sore thumb, man. <laughs> what do you speak of, stick out like a sore thumb? I wear battle armor. I don't need armor, man. I'm... Don't believe in violence. You see more lights flashing around inside the fort and possibly two figures uh, up on the gatehouse thing with lights couple, like beams scanning back and forth. If we had a couple of those uniforms, maybe we could sneak in. Draw more of them out or something. You see oh. f lights flash across the town and then flash towards you as you hear the engine sounds <laughs> as the truck starts We're coming back to the towards the fort. Flat. As it begins to drive by, I will leap from the bushes <laughs> to stab one of the guys with my spear. <laughs> I love it. Out of the bushes, a samurai bursts with his spear pointed downward at the chest of, like... I mean, I don't really know much about guns, so I just stabbed the closest one, like this one right here. I mean, actually, I say that, but not modern guns, you know? It's definitely gonna be a hindered roll from normal, because they're in a moving vehicle. You could apply effort with your might pull, if you want, or speed. Effort with might... If you did it with might, that, that would that would be better because if you do speed, it's going to cost you an extra two because you're wearing medium armor, right? Well, I'll use my might. It's three for the first point. Do you have a might edge? I do. Of what? One. All right, so it'll cost you two points for the initial. Two points okay. from your might pool, and you reduce the difficulty as you jump out. Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, GM intrusion. So if you rolled a one, I could do this without giving you guys experience, but I feel like it's time. So I give you experience, Oda, and you can give it to you can give the other one to someone else. I will give it to Johnny. You stab into the seat as this guy leans forward, and you don't get your grip on the vehicle as your feet go under, and the car <laughs> rolls over you a bit. Oh, no. As you take six points of damage to your might pool, as the back wheels go over your legs a bit. Oh my god, you ran over my feet, and I take six As the truck goes to a screeching halt, and we roll initiative speed roll. Oh my god. You are at like an immediate distance from the back of the truck. Johnny, you're at least a short distance, and you can be short distance as well, Perseus. Yeah, you're running, but you're still a short distance away. But that's no problem for you because you're fast. And Johnny, you're a short distance away. And then Oda, you're an immediate distance. Probably kneeling or prone at least. Uh, at least kneeling. It's going to be the MG and then you guys. And then the two in the front seats. <laughs> Screeching to a halt. <laughs> the one spins around. <laughs> On the back of this truck, you see the... <laughs> as the MG rips open. Oda, you see this belt alongside the gun. You see little metal things start to shoot out of the side of it with the massive percussive blast deafening your ears and this belt seems to be going into the gun every time it shoots. Both of you need to make speed defense rolls against the burst fire from the MG. I am going to expend effort on this one. Percy is not good against fire locked, as it turns out. Johnny, you get scratched as in the burst some of them scratch you for two points to your might pool. Perseus, you probably actually get a bullet in you or two. You have your armor on, so you only take three points. So when we take damage, it reduces the pool, right? Or the actual stat. The pool. And when your pool drops sure. to zero, you click one of those things on the damage track. All right, you take the three points of damage from the gotcha. MG. And then it's your guys' turn as this thing unloads on the back. And these two, the, the driver Perseus. and the one on the passenger, starting to move about. You got these guys. You can get them. Kill these Nazi scums, man. I don't usually wish for death. As he uh, encourages you. 
you and moves forward. So within a short range, ease one of the following task types. Attack tasks is what I'm choosing. Defense attack or talking skills, but attack task is what I'm going for. You guys also oh, got those ciphers. Yeah, that's right. Oh my As God. As the bard starts singing for Perseus, you will choose to heal. So you can put Oops. five points back into your might pool or into any other pool you're missing. I will enrage strike again. The same guy? Oh, yeah. All right, you get up and move towards him as he's spinning around in his seat. My Omo Shindairu. Oh, no. That's not good. Yes, I <laughs> rolled a one. That's <laughs> not good. <laughs> Seems history might be drastically altered. Oh, your recovery's a plus two, by the way. Remember oh, the yeah, because so it would have been six for you. Oda, you stab okay. down at this guy, but you get it caught in the seat as your blade is stuck in between the metal of the frame of the seat inside the truck and in the cloth seat itself, as it's going to take a full-ass action oh, yeah. to take your pole arm out. This one just points the gun at you, Oda, and fires. 16, you're able to deflect his barrel away as he misses. As I pull up, let go of the spear and pull out my sword. This one pulls the truck forward oh, fuck. a short distance. That's your feet. I should have got on the truck. Okay, to I'll mean, leap up to where the machine gun To maintain something, I just keep doing it as my action. Yeah. I'm gonna stay with a short distance of Oda as I'm following behind him. And I... Come on, Oda, say, stab those... Yeah, I leap up beside the machine gun. The MG. He just tries to grab onto you, Oda. So make a defense roll against him. Oh. Uh, tries to grapple you. Uh, he grabs your arm and pulls you close as you're grappled by him. The party's turn. What does it mean to be grappled? Uh, he's just holding on to you, so you can't move. That's That's also point of jump. I will, yes, this time, do the stab again with a sword since my spear got dislodged. In Perseus, my... take out the driver. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> this fucking <laughs> roll of one. I tried to swing at him with my katana at close range, being grappled, but I guess, I don't know. You take one point of damage to your might pool straight up oh, as you get oh, as you lose energy in the struggle johnny's running behind the truck playing his guitar <laughs> uh perseus uh hearing johnny's words of encouragement he'll attempt to stab the back of the nazi that appears right. to be controlling this beast and it's easing his attack right yes just don't roll a one tell me how you stab into him as you do four points of damage with your weapon as he is currently focusing on driving he'll suddenly feel a sharp tingling sensation in like the middle of his back area that's one of those old timey jeeps have the real low seat backs johnny you're just maintaining running and singing yeah <laughs> on the ss's turn this one driving ah, it rears off of the road a short distance as he just got stabbed in the back doing everything he can to maintain control of the vehicle this one lets go of oda as he pulls out a pistol and tries to fire at oda with it this one rolls out of the vehicle Oh my one on god. My I can't went, roll you, anything other than a one. You get shot point blank passing the armor as you take two points of damage. Oh, as you feel boy. the bullet penetrate. And he's just running behind the jeep trying to keep up. Stopped, right? It's still a, rolling. It went off the road. He's as close as he can and try to keep like the jeep between him and this guy as much as he can. He will attempt to tap at the uh, sword here again. 18 to hit. Alright, two additional points of damage. So you're going to be doing six points instead of four as you right. stab in with your blade. But this time I stab and twist, opening the wound a bit more. Ah! He is not looking good as he slumped against the wheel. Oda can't seem to maintain his balance on this truck, clashing with this Nazi on the MG. Sword clanging against the helmet, wavering back and forth, getting shot. Even with Johnny's assistance, Oda is just not having any help at all. <laughs> the Nazi driver. Ugh barely has the strength to pull out his pistol and shoot back behind you. Make a uh, defense roll against him. Three. You expect him to be out and you don't expect to see the pistol come up from underneath as pop one point of damage because your armor takes most of it. And the other one, the truck has continued to roll in and is about to hit a tree and stop. Johnny, as you're running up behind the truck, the truck moves on and this one's kind of stays behind. Yeah. So he gets line of sight of you. He points his gun at you. <laughs> and you understand it as stop, freeze, don't move. Johnny will kind of uh, run in and try and dive behind the truck. He fires. Four points of damage to your might pull. His gun blasts at you. The MG pulls out a dagger and tries to go 
go for Oda in the hand-to-hand. -hand. Schling as the MG is just sitting there at the back of the truck. Oda, defense roll as he comes in with a knife. You get stabbed for four damage to your might pool. I've only got one. Take the one to your might pool, and then you take three to your speed pool, and you're now impaired. You can't take your action to try to recover it. You can use your action to take your first recovery roll. So he stabs you, and you become impaired as you've been fucked up, shot, run over. Johnny's going to clutch his side. Oh, man, I've been hit. I've been hit. As he's going to slump against the side of the Jeep and uh, attempt to staunch the bleeding as he recovers. I attempt to stab the MG in the back while he's focused on melee combat with Oda. He'll uh, miss work as he misses his back or versus the length of my sword. Using a cypher's in action. So yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. That is a hit. Four points of damage to him. I will rest. Nice. Nice. So you can put all six back into your might or you could do... Yeah, that's what I do. This one weakly holds up the pistol but drops it as he leans forward as the horn... Starts honking as <laughs> bump against the tree to a final stop. This one closes the distance, pointing the gun at Johnny's head. <laughs> but does nothing else. Round five. Raises his hands. The MG spins around with the knife, stabbing at Perseus. He overpowers you as you take two points of damage. Johnny will start saying, man. In English, he's saying this guy's better hurry up, man. I, I think these people mean business. So he yeah. encouraged you a bit more. He will attempt to stab again. MG again. You stab into him. Four points of damage. He is bloodied for sure. A solid strike. All right, he's a tough opponent, so he's still hanging on. But you slice him good in the back. The other one. Eh, horn blaring as his head is up against the horn. In the distance, lights are flashing and people are moving, but people are still a ways away. This one comes up behind you, puts a pistol to your head. She tries to grab you. You can make a speed defense. Ain't no fuss taking me down, man. I guess you are. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs you, puts the gun to your head. Get off the truck or I will kill him. All you guys can hear is angry German. The MG knows you're the threat. Well, you both are the threat. So he jumps off the truck, then short distance. He's trying to move away. Eh, horn blank. I'll chase after the MG. Johnny uses action to activate his cipher. Bzoom. All defense rolls are reduced by two for the next 24 hours. Perseus will jump off the chuck as a leaping dive. You stab down just short as your blade comes down into the dirt. Oda. This guy in the car seat, does he have a gun on him? Yeah, they, he has a pistol that went down. Okay. Yeah. I, okay, so I like pull the pistol out and like kick him onto the ground. Can I play with the with the thing with the gas and the brakes? Is it running? All right. If what are you if what are you trying to do? Just tell me first. Well, I mean, I've never driven a car, but I know it can move somehow. All right. How do I make it move? If you want to get it in reverse and go backwards, you're gonna have to just. Oh my god. You're gonna have to just get rid of two intellect points. It's gonna cost you two intellect points to do that. Oh my god. Well, that's fine with me. All right. Subtract <laughs> two from your intellect pool. And then okay. you get it in reverse, and you start riffing backwards. Oh man! You, the guy. you see me wave, waving the pistol and <laughs> backing the car up. Johnny, you need to make. You've got your cipher on, so time is kind of looking very weird for you. The the technology and the wrist device. I should have also mentioned that you have a um, a 12 hour timer countdown, and now it says like 11:30 something. So you have that long to get the time stone and get out. And you also know there's a button you can press to go back instantly as well. You need to make a speed defense roll to get out of the way. Of the truck. Well, he sees the truck coming. He's just gonna like kind of like do it. His hands in the air. He's gonna like lean back and just kind of like try to like drop to the ground and roll. You do so. Dropping, rolling, out of the way as Oda backs over this one. Ah! As the truck goes over him, he's only bloodied, still alive, but pff, you feel a thud as you're going backwards towards the road. Not me. Not me? Very well. I try to put it in forward. The guy under the car has nothing he can do. He screams in pain. <laughs> ah! Ah! The MG guy, he just continues running into the forest short distance. Perseus, realizing that this MG could never outrun him, casually jumps back over, attempts to stab him in the back. Johnny's gonna grab this body and throw it in the back of the jeep. He's prepared for you as he slashes at you. Two slashing damage as you get like a nice little cut as he was expecting you to run right behind him. I go in for <laughs> A final bump and uh, Johnny, you notice that this body is now motionless with uh, tire tracks over it. I pull forward, look around, stop the car. You see spotlights flashing and like looking this way and you see figures running up the road this way as well. Okay. Get in now! 
<laughs> if Johnny has any movement, he'll jump in. You've already moved and thrown yeah. the, the body, yeah. and then he moved yeah. forward. The MG is in conflict with you. He attacks, stabbing at you. No armor resistance as you take four points of damage. As you take another nasty slash across your torso, a nice wide gash dripping down. Can Johnny grab this body and hop in with it? Sure. You know how to drive this man? Yes, well, I've got the hang of it. We're going in. As Persis will attempt to slash it in. So you guys can spend two experience points to gain a specific skill. So say Oda wanted to... Are you fucking kidding me? Oda wanted okay. to be yes. proficient and... um. I do it now. I spend both those... Ex well, actually, I had a third one. So yeah, I've got one left. What would it be? Intelligence then? Uh, intelligence, driving, yeah. Driving. And I'm trained in it? Yeah, you're trained. And I can do it just like right away? That's what so the experience is for. You you got the knack for it. Uh, you, you figured it out. You back up and you turn around. And and I guess, it's, okay, if we have a second, and there's two bodies in the back, so I really still don't know much about the guns and stuff, so, okay, anyway, I've got the pistol that I saw them use, but that's it. Yep. I think the big gun is on this guy right now. No, okay. it's it's but, it's actually hanging off the back of the truck. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, fun. Fun time. Has been All right, well, good good mission to complete. All right, so... Is my spear still stuck in the front seat? The the, uh, Johnny is sitting right next to your spear that's sticking out. Oh, yeah. okay. He's probably awkwardly okay. sitting because the spear is probably awkwardly in the I seat. I the pistol into my sash and then pull the spear out, so I'm driving. All right, I'll allow you to do with that. With my right hand, I drive with the wheel, and the left hand, my, I'm a king out. <laughs> All right, like I'll, I'll allow you to do that because you spent experience <laughs> to be a good driver. I rolled a 14 to hit him. That is enough. How do you kill him with your blade? As we trade blows, uh, Percy says a massive grin on his face. Bruce is sword and cuts off his head. Chlink! The helmet and the head go rolling. Kale looked down and sent a sock prayer to Hades. He turns around and stripping into the back of the truck. All right. Oh, we got uh, If he can, he'll pick up the machine gun and spend two experience points learning how to use machine gun. Oh. My god. Perseus with the machine gun. He just racks it a bunch of times. You feel a kind of lurch in the back as Perseus jumps on and starts. He grabs the big, long metal thing with the belt fed metal pieces and he starts examining it. Johnny, you're in the passenger seat. Oda, you have your spear sticking out of the top of the Jeep as you're in the driver's seat. Johnny's gonna reach to, like, stand, like, kind of like kneel on the seat as he's ruffling through the corpse behind him. He's gonna grab the guy's helmet, grab his jacket, put him on, and then, like, kind of like push the body out of the car. Push the body out. Put the helmet and the jacket. As uh, you look behind you guys on the road, you see figures running up with flashing lights. They're still far away, but they're coming. I I you put put the gas metal. down to the floor as hard as possible. I slam it down, and I aim the front of the truck right for the gate. And I say, You put the pedal down. The speed in the truck is increasing. The wind is blowing in your hair. The lights are flashing on the gate. The lights from the walls on either side of the gate, they come up the spotlights. They focus on both of you following you in as you start screaming. Just gonna duck down. <laughs> <laughs> head between his knees. Percy <laughs> just has a massive grin on his face, yelling, like, charge. Oh, God. Ram! <laughs> Boom! The gate budges a bit. It's open enough to where you guys could get through one at a time, but you come to a complete lurch as you all take three points of either might or speed damage. As you all get thrum, lurched forward, smashing into the gate. You've got smoke coming out of the hood of the truck. Are any sticky grenades, or the stick grenades in this truck anywhere? You pull the detonation cipher. He's like leaning his head down, like bracing for the impact. And uh, he happens to look down and he sees beneath the seat uh, a state of granata. He pulls it up and goes, ha! Ah! I climb through the gate. What do I see? Climbing through the gate, you see to your left in the far back of like this open courtyard, tunnel entrance with flickering lights inside, dust, danger, radioactive signs all over the place. Up on the walls, scattered figures moving. You can hear at least two figures, one on either side, running down the steps to get to you, but you can't see them yet. And there's an open courtyard with vehicles and uh, workers running around, a lot of them without guns, like hard helmets and stuff. But it will not be long before people are shooting at you. I'll holster the um, pay machine gun and try to climb through the fence as well. Isn't it yeah, kind of attached I'll, to the back of the car? It is on a swivel, but you could rip it off. I'll go ahead and rip it off with the swivel. Drink! A bolt goes flying, metal pieces go as you rip up the MG Terminator style. You're all standing in the courtyard. At the entrance of where you guys came through the gate on the inside of this courtyard of the fort, there's two Nazis with their guns. One of them just shot Oda. Perseus is already in the mine entrance. And Perseus 
this is what you see over here. Chuck, catch up. Not sure exactly remember how these things work. Johnny's going to read the instructions, realize they're in German, fiddle around for a second as he pulls the string on the bottom and chucks the grenade at those guys. You throw it and it explodes. Ah! And they are both knocked back as they have shrapnel oh, all yeah. in them. Yeah, catch up, man. Oda and Johnny. You're inside what appears to be a natural cave, picked out mesh holding rocks back, rocks scattered everywhere, crates of equipment, mine carts, pickaxes, shovels, dirt, and you can hear picking further in, and the chaos behind you, lights flashing, and you can actually see the two SS guards running after you guys. Your wrist devices are pointing this way. I think I found the time stones. Look at these things. They did realize there should be so many of them. I don't think that's it, man. There was not pointing there. Well, what other cursed time stones could be, uh... Glowing such a green color. If these are just time stones, they have to be magical and other, some other weird property. Only magic that will do is melt your insides. So they are magical. We should, we should collect these for weapons. Ah, if you plan to have children. I was going to head switch path to the um, wrist thing, say. This way. As you get to work there, the SS make it to the entrance of the mine. The sheet of the designers are getting it! They're yelling, stop right there, get out of the mine! As they fire. Their guns ricocheting off the cave walls. Trying uh, to keep running forward. Unless he gets caught this way, he'll four. We attempt to knock these lanterns down, or are they too high up? You can. You knock it down with your fist. Easily smash it, break it as the light disappears. Perseus, you're just barely able to hit the lantern as you almost missed as it crashes down. There's more light. Going further in, the SS, they move in, sweeping the mine. Can't see you guys now with the lights breaking. Perseus, as you look at the two passageways, you see a Czech miner raise his head up from behind a table. Perseus, knowing that they can't understand me, will instead point the gun at him and it points to the entrance in a threatening manner. Try to just sort of form to one. In German, Johnny, just up there. Break time! Get out of here! Uh, uh. He's also wearing the Nazi jacket and hat. He's running his way out with his hands up, hunkering down very quickly. Your wrist devices are pointing this way. As you get there, Perseus, standing under a light is another soldier. He's looking your direction with a gun strapped across his chest. His eyes have a strange green glow as he's wearing some kind of gas mask. Perseus will hold up. Shit, more enemies stashed behind his pile of rocks. You can actually move a long distance with your 20. Johnny's gonna run up. As you get there, you see the green glowing eyes gas mask soldier. You also see uh, Perseus crouching down behind these rocks. Oh, roll. Oh. You're only able to get about here this one does not look like he's fucking around he looks big strange intimidating he moves in an immediate distance <laughs> fires at you johnny he puts his hands on the gun strapped on his chest brings it down to the side and fires at you you have your active cipher so it's decreased by two ah it's teetering on the edge you take six points of damage and your guitar it takes some of the damage too as it takes one level of damage down on the damage track as you get riddled with bullets and your guitar gets splintered as well i'm now impaired oh the ss they move in further to the mine following you guys in this miner is running out hands up get out of here first he decides to test out his new weapon i'm gonna try to get yeah. behind this wall here he'll pull the trigger and we'll aiming at the uh soldier 14 you let loose with the machine gun g -g 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 unfortunately most of the bullets ricochet against the mine floor some go further past into the walls some do hit him but they seem to have no effect as they bounce off or just yeah. go into him but most of them miss as you spray wildly your first time using the gun i'll make the speed roll you gotta roll a 12 nice you can move 50 feet and attack but I roll a three. you stab him and it has no effect you'll have to stab better well you guys all have a good easter we'll pick this up and finish this next weekend as this conflict is going on gm intrusion to oda as wham you see appearing behind this tall nazi soldier the one who walked in the portal with you as this one turns around an explosion of a pocket of gas explodes here as oda you need to make a speed roll oh speed roll speed roll wow Jindairo. i rolled like nothing above four the last session moving out of the way of this exploding gas thing you also get another additional effect it's a gas pocket that like explodes yeah and the pressure is like coming out and Pushing you guys back. Ah, Might catch okay. with the lantern here. I guess I'll just, you know, come through the this guy's disorient and I'll take him down. I just come through the mist with my katana. Ah! 
god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta get those bad rolls out of the way first, you know. Um, give that extra experience uh, point to Jack, by the way. You try to take another attack, but through no fault of your own, the pressure from the explosion is too much, and as you swing to attack, you get caught off guard. <laughs> kind of get blown in the wind as you slide <laughs> prone 10 feet back towards Johnny. Johnny, you also feel the <laughs> reverberation of power as it verbs back. Johnny, uh, sorry, Jack, you have no idea what's going the fuck on, Jack. All you see is you walk through the portal and suddenly you're inside a dark area. The companions you walk through lift do not look like they do when they walk through beyond. You see a lantern up on like a rocky cutout mine entrance and some like some kind of pressure is pushing it all back as it cracks and boom, explodes into flame down onto this really tall person wearing a black outfit and some kind of mask. He starts making weird uh, noises as he's burning and, and he starts to shoot the gun too as it randomly goes off in directions, plinking, plinking around in the mine. What do you all do? Johnny cowers behind the corner, trying to keep out mine of the wildfire. A piece of uh, rock from the wall blasts over your face as a ricochet hits. I just keep watching it. I'll make sure that if, if he comes out, I'll uh, try to fire this gun again. Yeah, your first time using the gun was a it was a, a bit much perhaps the power from it was more than you expected jack's gonna stay far enough back to where the flames will not reach him and just like stare at the fire and smile waiting for the guy to either die or step out from the fire you hear his moans of pain agony but they also sound different his voice doesn't sound like a normal man oda recovering from the slide back across the mine floor i recover Ugh. that dude's just on fire <laughs> Shooting the gun randomly. Wait for him to burn. He drops to his knees. The gun makes a clicking sound as he uh, kind of folds up on the side, still burning. Very crispy. You may or may not see another figure beyond the flames. Jack will just start laughing. Johnny's going to try to jump over. Yeah, I'll try to leap through. As you jump across next to these glowing rocks and ore, broken pieces of picks, you see the one you walked through the portal with. Yeah, it's all safe. It's strictly, <laughs> strictly safe. What are we doing in this cave? We're running for our lives. This is people behind us. Jack's gonna walk up to this lantern and snuff it out. You snuff it out. It's smart not to walk in the light. Around the corner, you hear <gasps> whimpering, cowering. <gasps> Let's me go in first. There's light coming further down, but it does get kind of dark here, especially now that the lantern's out. <gasps> They're especially scared. I'm gonna stealth my way in. Night knocked, knocked, knocked demon. Eine <gasps> kleine knocked music. Nine, nine. They have their hands up. Nine killing. Nothing. Johnny yells out as he runs by. Jack's gonna oh, rush up to the first one. Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> I'm gonna grab him by the throat and start hauling him down the passage. Ah! Ah! This other one just backs up <laughs> as you guys go towards the light. Uh, here, you see a big pulley system, and there's like these cables or ropes going down into a, a dark hole. And there's mining equipment all around. Would I know how to, like, operate this thing, or is it a mystery to me? It is definitely a mystery. John's oh. Here. Here. Was, was das Ding? Das Ding in the elevator. Nani. Das ist elevator. Pulling lever. What is he saying? He says it's a lift. We can take it down. Have him show us how to use it. Yeah, yeah. I, sh I did show him. Yeah, the, there's, there's, there's nothing to stand on. It's a open. Oh. It's an open hole down into the darkness. <laughs> Jaya sleep to his death. <laughs> oh. looks down, helps his water below, and jumps in. There are like these little uh, walls here on either side, though. But it's open here and here to look down. But anyway, he goes over to this lever, and he throws it from down to up. You see the ropes start to rotate on the pulleys, and this. It's called lift, man. Yeah, lift and calling. You see it up above the pulley system that's like up against the ceiling of this thing is working. Ropes moving, coming up. And in no time, it's there. Inside, you see a dead miner laying sprawled out, blood leaking from his head. Ah! This miner says as he tries to run away. Mm, Should have killed him while I had the chance. You didn't you kick the dead miner out. You kicked the dead miner out. I look back at my wrist pad. Does it say? It's pointing this way. As you are all inside this uh, thing, it's pretty rickety. You see a another lever on the inside, and it's uh, in the up position next to Jack. Oh, what are you doing up there? Come on into this strange contraption. It shifts some more under your feet. Jack pulls the lever. The door shut. Jing, 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 jing. You feel yourselves descend deeper and deeper into the knocked. Into the knock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Episode one, Enter the Noct. <laughs> did you take a lantern with you? I did. As I have dark vision. You don't have dark vision. <laughs> As you, the lever's in the down position. The doors come up. Total darkness. In this room, scattered mining equipment, some of that glowing ore. You step in, more broken mining equipment, ore fallen from the ceilings, uh, out of the walls, rusted out mine carts. It continues on to another passage. Jack, feeling fresh, you uh, look at the people you came through with, and they are bleeding. You haven't seen as much as they have since you stepped right into the mine. I'll go ahead and look at my first pad and uh, mine dilation. You uh, yeah. use your cipher. I'm gonna for 24 hours. set my lantern here on the ground. All of your wrist devices are pointing that way for the location of the stone. You guys are taking 10 minutes for your second rest. Yes. All right, then you each roll 1d6 plus 1 for your tier, and then plus another one because of Jaikor's ability. While they do that, can I stealth ahead? Johnny just sits down, <clears throat> holds his side. <clears throat> you can. Pulls out a uh, small paper object. Oh, God. Grabs it in an oblong, lights it up, and just starts smoking it. What is, is this ritual that you appear to be doing, John? It's, it's called time dilation. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It helps with the pain. It helps with the pain, you know. You want to try some? It helps with the pain, you say. I'll try. Puffs gently on the... <laughs> Don't Bogart, man. Puff, puff, pass. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll glare at it a bit after Oda takes it and I'll receive it and try the puff. Don't Bogart. My stats go up? It's, uh, it's tied into the recovery rule, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. You go off with the light, leaving them in the darkness to giggle and smoke. As you're making your way through GM Intrusion, you are very, doing very good. You're used to being in the night. You keep the lantern hooded. If anyone was there, they surely wouldn't see you. The only problem is, when you get to this point, you feel your leg tug on a wire. I need you to make a speed roll to see if you trigger this or if you're able to stop and position yourself back, realizing it might be some kind of trap. Yeah, that's a two. As the wire snaps. As you get it exploded by a mine, sending you backwards, the lantern flying back. You immediately go down to impaired on the damage track. The thing about special damage that sends you all the way down the damage track, you can use your entire recovery roll to bring that up. So I can use an action to get myself back together. You can. You see light coming out from beneath these metal doors, and it's also cracked a bit. Ah, oh, light up ahead. I'm snuffing out the lantern. Inside, you see lighting of the equipment lit. It reminds you of the place you came from through the portal and you hear voices inside I, know, uh, I, know, not, great not, you know. I guess I like is there like a handle uh, it's cracked and yes there is a handle I push the door open and he's gonna start strumming on his guitar as everyone's walking into the room I just fucking blow through the door with you my spear blow there. through the door with your spear in hand everyone stop you see these fully equipped guards with backpacks and special looking rifles gas masks helmet these two are directly pointing at you and are about to fire at you. You see another one with his back to you and in front of him, someone in a tan jacket and an armband has his hands all over what your wrist device says is the time stone. And also at some kind of device, clicking away like that woman was back behind the portal on some kind of keyboard. This person turns around with his hand on the stone. Kill them! He's uh, clutching the time stone closely as everyone needs to roll. A speed roll for initiative. I throw my sword and I'm like, YAMERO! <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can be anywhere you want behind the door. Hide behind the partially open door. Perseus, you roll a 20, so that is a major effect as well. You see Oda, you see him pull his blade, you know it's on, and then instinct, boom, you go first before anyone. Perseus will attempt to try to fight the most important looking person in the room. They line like a machine gun. Yes, for sure. You shoot Hitler with your MG. Uh, go ahead and go. you... you you, uh, so everyone looking at Perseus, he just, he's moving so fast, waving in and out of time. It's not like he, his, the, the time device is accentuating his already fast movement. So he's just like blurring in there, even past the Nazi guard, like the flash basically against Superman as they're slowly like Fucking looking at him. And then, and then he sprays Hitler. And then he lets loose. And the difficulty is reduced by two because of your time dilation. So go ahead and make your roll. Oh my goodness. What is up with this? 
<laughs> you're moving so fast and you pull the trigger and it's like and the power from the gun just kind of like slides you back in the in and you're holding your ground as your feet go sliding in the rock of the room but the muzzle goes down as it like sparks against the railing as Hitler is like ducking down against these sparks as it goes down into the dirt and and you're going everywhere with the gun. We'll just, we'll just toss the gun to the side. The belt and everything still smoking as you drop it. After tossing the gun to the side, Hitler is looking uh, right at you as he has his hand on the stone. Perseus will draw his sword and shield or run up and jump right into front of Hitler's face. Eight. How do you jump over the rail and stab Hitler? After the embarrassing display of the new weapon ray, he'll kind of take a runner's mark as he crushes down to the ground, taking down a sword and shield during the process. And in a blur, he dashes towards the platform. As he's about here, he takes a running jump. As he's in midair, he'll stab with the sword. You pierce through his tan jacket, pulling out with blood. As he stumbles against this pedestal holding the time stone, your time device is like glowing, like pointing right at the thing in his hand. Johnny, you just see Perseus blur into the room. You hear a gun go off. You hear a bit of yelling and stabbing. And then what do you do? Tries to look around the corner, see who's on the thing up there. Oh, man, it's probably the worst person ever. History doesn't be kind to you, man. He yells out and he says, kill it, kick his ass, kill him, guys. He deserves it as he starts singing his encouragement so encouraging attacks <laughs> so short range i guess i gotta be closer to him so just by just by like five feet the nazi guard this one fires at oda oda make a speed defense roll and this one also fires at you so make two speed defense rolls speed or defense roll all right unfortunately you get shot <laughs> five damage to your might pool. You could uh, like move or something as a major effect or whatever you could think of as a, as your reaction to uh, defending uh, and not yeah. getting shot because you rolled a 20 there. I go up, spear in hand, stab this guy. Make the attack. Suck on my balls. You, oh my God. <laughs> you attack, but he dodges. This one spins around. Moves right up on Perseus and attempts to grab you. He secures your wrist and he has a very strong grip. These guys are all about six and a half feet tall. Massive. Pretty pretty bulked out with all their equipment and everything. He secures you so you can't move. This one over here at the computer, he has the rifle slung over his back with his backpack and he continues to click. He looks up. He says, On to Hitler's turn. He steps back, looking down at the, the wound from the sword, holding the time stone. He looks to this one behind the computer. Nah. For the fatherland! And uh, GM intrusion. Group GM intrusion. Everyone gets one experience point. And to refuse it, you would all have to give me an experience. As Hitler raises up the time stone, he disappears with it. And your wrist devices start spinning out like a compass out of control. Oh, man. Would it be possible for me to go around this way and then jump the guard from behind? You come up and you stab and you try to stab between the oh. plate, but you hit the plate, mm -hmm. sparking off. And now he knows you're there. The Nazi guard, this one, types another <laughs> sequence on the computer. In the distance, you hear a... And everything starts to shake a bit. He then moves an immediate distance. 5, 10. This one moves a short distance. <laughs> jumping over. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. This one. You can hear him rumbling under his breath at you, Perseus. But you can see him look around really quickly. And he decides to. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. If you focus all everything on moving, you're fine. But if you try to split it up, then you're going to get an opportunity to attack because it's presumed you're being careful when you're moving. This one is caught up with you guys. He moves an immediate distance and then throws down a grenade as it starts to leak smoke. Oh, gosh. The Zerk, once he begins fighting, it is hard for him to stop. He's going to move over and he's going to stab at him again, but this time with his cane. Very good. You're a bit hindered from the coughing and the the smoke i have bloodthirsty as well once i begin fighting i only see red and it's like two additional points how do you whack him with your cane that causes so much damage i would have uh, unsheathed it as i moved through the smoke and then like stabbed him in the arm <laughs> blood starts just spewing everywhere from that wound i will go ahead and maybe short distance over to this guy and attempt to grapple him as he's probably like trying to full sprint out oh, Perseus will run up behind him and put him into a full nelson <laughs> You hear him muffled behind his gas mask, and you're probably, like, on his back a bit trying to choke him or choking him and holding him because he's pretty tall. Unfortunately, he sh slams you up against this device as he's able to move. This one, looking around, seeing how things are, he says, fuck it, he's gone. 
And this one is being more careful about getting away from the crazy guy with the sword. He looks at the rest of you. He's coming down cautiously with his gun up. Move up and stab the guy. You do an additional four points of damage. So I deal 10 damage overall. I'm assuming there's still smoke here. Yeah, yeah, it's still going off. Jack's just going to stalk through the smoke and then just plunge his sword into his chest armor and then hit his sword hilt farther into his chest. Ah! You literally make him fall back on the stairs, sprawled out with your sword cane inside of him. As it, ah! You hear like gurgling pain inside the gas mask. Well, take what you need and let's get out of here. I prepare to press the button on my wrist. You take the ready action. Everyone inside this chamber make a speed defense roll against falling debris. Oh, fuck. I should have just pressed the button. Okay, can I press it instead of doing that? <laughs> Like, as soon as I see the rock coming down, just... Yeah, you <laughs> readied it, so that's fine. All right. <laughs> you, you, it's go. like right over your head. You're like, oh! And you hit the button. Zoom, gone. A giant rock lands where it just was. Johnny, you are already trying to get out of the room, and uh, you're, like, kind of in the doorway, and the rubble kind of crashes against the doorway and spills over you, almost hitting you, but does not. Oda, zoom, disappears as a rock just crushes right where he was. Perseus, unfortunately, you and this machine get crushed as you take three points of damage to your might pool, rolls off the device, denting it, and then crushing you for three points. Jack, you take six points is a very large stone cracks and uh, knocks you down, but it rolls off of you onto the skull of this Nazi guard splat as he lays there prone, gun to the side. Pushing the heavy rock <laughs> off of me, getting up and dusting myself off, walk over to him. Back off. Looks like he's already dead. Now it's not the time, we gotta go. He'll grab the gun and press the button. Zam. Seeing uh, Oda disappear, Johnny will finally remember, oh yeah, buttons guys! <laughs> oh yeah! He slaps the button on his wrist. <laughs> if I were to loot this guy, would I not be able to press my button? You would risk more rocks falling. I shall press the button. Zow. More rocks fall all over, crushing the computer's devices, leaving no evidence of any sort of nonsense. You all appear through the portal, stepping through, regaining your bearings. Lights, everything shaking. Two of these agents at the door with their blasters, as you may or may not see dents on it. The war droids with their weapons raised. Red lights everywhere. Dr. Vegas and Claire leans over the console. Where's the time stone? Hitler took it. That's some strange man. The brown shirt man got away. What? <sighs> she clicks away. Oh, he's jumping the timelines. This is not good. The other five seem to be stable. Quickly, you must go and recover another stone. She looks at you all. <laughs> As you look like shit. We don't have time. We are we are literally, they are about to break. In this hour, they're going to break into this facility. You have to go now. Choose your next timeline. Number two. Let's go. Dude, let's number go, two. Let's go, let's go to Atlantis. No time. Number two is what I heard first. Click. The portal reignites. You're going to Paris, France, 1394. A little before Jack's time, I guess. Oh, no. All right, you all go through. Zoom. Disappearing and appearing next weekend at session two.